everyone. Oh, I should have brought home my cheese head. Oh, oh, oh wait. Oh, Mini yeah. cheese heads. <laughs> Seven layer. It's like a mountain salad. Of friend Rebecca. You've seen her in videos such as Philadelphia. <laughs> Philly. And Eleanor. With Eleanor yeah. on the road. And she also is like a food stylist, chef writer, recipe developer, recipe developer, amorphous food person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rebecca is from Wisconsin, the lovely state of Wisconsin. And she's been talking to me about this seven layer salad for a while now. Forever. And to be perfectly honest, it kind of doesn't really sound like a salad to me. Okay, well it's a salad. I don't know, but I think of um, like how I met your mother when <laughs> Mrs. Erickson made a seven layer salad. And like the big trifle dish. <laughs> yeah, there was like gummy bears, potato chips, mayonnaise. <laughs> Uh, I, don't know, I think it's like a Midwestern thing. It is. It's like eating around the world. It's like you don't have to travel to eat cool things. You don't have to fly <laughs> an hour and a half back to Wisconsin. That far. But let's get started. Yes. But before we get started, we have to drink beer because uh, we're making yeah. a Wisconsin dish. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Seven layer salad. I'm so excited. So, the. Seven layer salad is in, it's not a dip, it's a salad, like yes, you were talking about. Yes, yes. Um, and it starts out like super healthy. Mm -hmm. So like you do like a layer of lettuce, yay. And then you do a layer of celery, and then a layer of uh, finely chopped onion. A layer of chopped up pepper. Peas! <laughs> so it's frozen peas, but you only defrost them, you don't cook them, because they get mushy and like don't, are like bright and pretty and green. Um, and everything about the salad is so bright and beautiful and green until you get to the mayonnaise later. But <laughs> yeah. And then, and then it gets really unhealthy. It's like health, not health. A okay, layer. Well, life is all about balance. Exactly. So, uh, so, so a layer of mayonnaise, which will be your dressing of your choice, if you will. A layer of cheese, like this Wisconsin cheddar I brought back a couple weeks ago oh, and yeah. somehow didn't eat. And then, after you put all that cheddar cheese on top, sometimes we don't do this for particular people that don't eat meat, but then we do like a layer of bacon. So in Wisconsin, there's like, cheddar cheese here is good, like don't get me wrong, I like, I like, yeah. I like cheddar from all over, but like Wisconsin cheddar is so special to my heart, and it's so sharp, and it's so yellow. In Wisconsin, there's like these, like at the grocery store, there's just like, aisles of cheddar cheese everywhere and so I always come back I really like this particular brand and they do two four and six year cheddar cheeses Ooh. and you just get them at festival foods which is like the local grocery store I don't know why it's really good, it's really good. Mm -hmm. so sharp so this is two years because um mm. like the four year is really sharp and yummy but you should just eat that alone and the six year is like you should just sit there and not talk to anyone like a and eat a block of cheese wine alone or a whiskey. So how often do you eat this? Like, or is it like a special occasion thing, or is it like an everyday like? I feel like my pupils just dilated with excitement. <laughs> I never get to eat it in New York because none yeah. of my New York friends think it sounds good. I mean, yeah. When she first told me about it, I did not. I was skeptical because yeah mayonnaise layers um yeah but you know i like all the other food she makes i believe in her vision <laughs> her palette my overall palette. so um and i'm all down to try new things so yeah. i was like yeah i want to eat that anyways yeah yes. so how do you is it like so when i go back to wisconsin this is the first thing my mom makes for me and then I eat it every single day I'm home. <laughs> like so Well like she makes one she batch makes like and then you She eat. makes like one. Yeah. And then I eat from it. And by the end I'm just eating from the container. Right. Let's call a spade a spade. And then my grandma and my aunt always come over for dinner and um, she makes it for them. Yeah. For them. Um, and so I eat it then and then I yeah. eat the leftovers. And then like, I'm speaking from the last time I was home for five days, and there were three seven-layer salads that were made, wow. and I, I I took some on the plane home. 
recipe. <laughs> First step, lettuce. So it's like you cover the bottom of the pan with lettuce and like I personally like a lot of lettuce. I like to pretend I'm being yeah, like really lettuce. healthy yeah. while I'm eating this and I just kind of shove it down. But like you could do a thin layer of lettuce if you wanted more mayonnaise and uh, <laughs> other things. One step down. Layer of celery. Ooh. Oh, onion. Yes. Be too red onion, but you can do white. It's cool. It's kind of whatever you have. So use as much onion as you want. This is like a quarter of an onion. Yeah. All right. And then red peppers. It looks very fresh right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Frozen I... deep thawed peas in my hands. <laughs> so. This is so gross when you do it. This is why I have somebody else make it for me, because it tastes so good, you guys. Just try it. Just, like, give Don't it a... hold your judgment. Yeah. You just, know. like, you know... Some just... people are really against mayonnaise, and I kind of get it. Well, like, some people, you know... I so... get it if you, like, think about it, but right. but don't think about it. It's delicious. It's just it. eggs and oil. Like, what's, what's yeah. so gross about that? Eggs are delicious. Oil is awesome. Oil. And it's, in, like, you would eat anything else made with eggs, yeah. you know? So, exactly. And, and a lot of salad dressings have, like, it's like the same. They have oil in them, for sure. Yeah. And, like, you can use mayonnaise so. in salad dressings. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you just spread it, and, the, like, I've found that if you bring your mayonnaise to room temperature, it's a lot easier. So you just do, like, this is, like, a pretty light layer. Like, when you look at it. Yeah, it's all, it's evenly spread. So, like, look. It looks like this, a... This is, Confetti. Yeah, look, you can see. Yeah, it's like funfetti, <laughs> but salad, um, and probably just as healthy for you as funfetti cake. So, mayonnaise is spread on, and then Mari, you be the cheese applier. I just suggest, dude. Just just you gotta just like, know, yeah, it cover really it. Mean. You know, with a traditional seven-layer salad, you don't want to. You know, you don't want to see the mayonnaise until it just smacks you in the tongue. So, bacon. Bacon. What we're going to do, because Mari doesn't eat meat, and I, you know, prefer it without meat anyway, I'm going to put it just on a quarter. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, so it's a real dense quarter. <laughs> yes. It's all the food groups. Bacon, mayonnaise has eggs. You're basically, it's like yeah. having an omelet. Yes. Veggie, a vegetable omelet. omelet. A vegetable omelet. Yep. I'm going to show you a close-up of this. Ah, look at it in all its glory. Let's try this. So you just like, you cut into it, you know, as if it were like a bar cookie. It's like a, basically a salad brownie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a salad brownie. <laughs> Get out your handy dandy spatula. And uh, this is how. Look at that, guys! Mm. Oh yeah, so I put more mayonnaise than my mom does. Sorry. Alright, um, guys. Salad. I'm so excited to see that you. <laughs> I know. I'm like, this is horrible. Where are the gummy bears? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Right. Crunchy. Mmm. Fresh. Yeah. Creamy from the cheese, mm -hmm. creamy from the mayonnaise, but like not overwhelming. And there's like a, you know, like you've got a solid layer mm -hmm. of lettuce in there. And then like, you know, as it sits, like if it, you let it sit for a day in the fridge or like even like an hour. Yeah. It gets so good. All the like flavors all the flavors. Melt. Yeah. Salad. Look at all these beautiful layers. Actually, I'd love to know if any of you are from the Midwest or from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Can you comment below and let me know yeah. if you ate this? Because I actually don't know if people... Yeah. Like, is, is this what you actually ate? Like, is this the seven-layer mm -hmm. salad of your youth, or did you put other things in it? Yeah, yeah, Please comment below. No that would be really interesting to know. We'll put the recipe for this one below, and then mm -hmm. add your recipes if you have one, too, because that will be really interesting and cool to see, and then we can try those out. Mm. Ooh, Ooh seven-layer seven salad, salad party! party. <laughs> There you have it, guys. Seven layers slash eight layer. If you like bacon, seven layer you plus. Um, don't be afraid of the mayonnaise. It's really not. No, and do like a super just light do a layer. Just a small layer, like you yeah. would on a, a sandwich. You know, like, maybe a little thicker. Than there's so much other stuff, and you put if you put a lot of the greens, then I feel like it really evens it out. Yeah. 
and you know the cheese really just brings it all <laughs> together. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on. Thank you for um, being on. I hope you all get to try this, make it at home. It's super easy. No heating required. No, just keep it in the fridge if yeah, you don't eat it all in one sitting. If you don't know, I make videos about uh, tr mostly travel related things, so subscribe if you want to see more things like that. Do it! Do uh, Rebecca wrote a cookbook, and it's called Honey. It's all about honey things. Okay. Recipes that cook with honey. Yes. <laughs> this doesn't feature honey. This is not the but seven layer, Is this is a separate entity. I'm just saying. It could be the appetizer for, say, honey roast chicken. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. a honey bourbon glazed mm -hmm. pork chopped. Yes. Or, or you can pair it with a cocktail. Oh, such like as a the, uh, bee's knees with gin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And lemons. Because I always have those on hand. So yeah, pick that up. I'll link it below. Check it out. And otherwise, happy cooking and happy travels. And just see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Today we have. Dun dun dun. Oh. Double decker! Double decker seven layers! It's really smart. <laughs> Eat this piece of cheese as your reward. Oh. oh. They're VIPs. <laughs> VIPs. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Cheers to that. <laughs> I'm gonna let you cheers alone because it was such a bad joke. No, I'll drink to it. Okay.